Hello everyone. Hi, welcome to my channel. Thank you. Mahara Hamdala. Shalom Wadu. Shalom Wadu. Bonjour. Como tele go. Buenas buenas noches. Como esta usted? All right, everybody. Welcome in the building. Come on in the building. Come on in the building. Shalom Wadu. Okay. All right. So I'm doing um five card spread of emotions. This is just basic emotions. I'm doing emotions, not basic emotions. Everybody has emotions, but Pardon me. It's been a long day, y'all. I had to go out to the car place and go take care of some business this morning. I'm so grateful I got it done. Okay, I'm doing Aries next. Okay. I did the Earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So now I'm doing Aries. This is a five card spread about Aries. Next sign is the fire signs Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Okay. Shalom, what do? Shalom, what do? Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. All right, you all. Bonjour, comment allez-vous? We are doing um, Aries. I have my notes, so I, uh, we just doing we doing a spread of a uh, ten card, five card spread. This is emotions. So, pardon me, you all. Okay, um. We're in the year of 2022, you all, okay? So this is a powerful year. This is a powerful, powerful, powerful year. So 222. Two, two. What is 222? 222 also adds up to a 6. Uh, So that means, uh, 6 also means step back and ask yourself, what are you doing right? What are you doing wrong? Pay attention to what you're doing this year. 222 two, two means you are in the right place at the right time at this moment. And in the year of 2022, also as well. 2022, um, New Year started on um, December the 21st. But a lot of people really think New Year started December the 31st. But New Year's don't start December 21st. For God's sake, a lot of people need to open and read books. They need to do more reading. <laughs> but a lot of people don't do much reading. They usually say if you tell uh, African American people to hide some knowledge, look in books. Most people don't look in books. I mean, some people don't look in books. There is a lot of people that do really look in books. So you want to get higher knowledge this year. Um, I mean, I know Aries are very, very smart. Aries are very smart. Aries. Um. So I'm going to do your your cards, Aries, and Aries energy. Let me see your energy. Um. So we have two planets this year, really strong. We have Mars and Uranus. So Mars is the power of God. It's a God of war, okay? And massive, it's a massive change, which is Mars energy. But that doesn't happen until February the 18th, which has to do with uh, 1776 in the Constitution. It's a powerful, powerful day on February, February the 18th. Okay, and um, it's also well, and we also have Pluto energy, and um, I don't know if you some people even know about the um, the uh, how do you say her name? Samith Samithio. She was took. She was taken down to hell. Uh, she was taken down to the underground and the underworld, and she was held captive against her will. Um. Yeah, it was like it's part of Pluto energy, but she came out. But she when she came out, she came out stronger. So we also have a lot of Pluto energy, and it's Pluto, and it has to do with um, sexual, criminal, and the underworld energy. Aries. So I know Aries. A lot of Aries are smart, anyhow. And Aries fight for Aries is like a street fighter. Aries is strive for truth and equality. So, we have a lot of Aries energy going on this year, too, also as well. So, this is why I'm saying this on you all's video, because this is an Aries video, okay? So, we also have Mars and Uranus. Now, Uranus is a planet of expansion. So, if you are getting downloads at this time of expansion, God, the universe, or your ancestors, anything telling you during this time, your instincts are dead on at this time. So this is why, quote unquote, um, 
I, I don't know how to say this in this. I don't want to say it because I don't want to get my channel shut down. But this is quote unquote. This is why we have this rapid energy at this present time. We have this rapid energy, this massive energy of um, awakening. A lot of people are awakening and are aware at this time. So that's why, quote unquote, some people want to put other people back to sleep, quote unquote, if you get what I'm saying, okay? I, I can't really say what I want to say on this channel, even though I've been in the medical field for over 30 years. <laughs> But I can't really say how I want to say it because I don't want my channel shut down. But um, that's what some people, they want to put back to sleep, quote unquote. Okay. But, um, okay, Mars. So Mars and Uranus, these are speedy planets. So everything is going to happen fast. So in 2020, 20, in 2022, this is not like 2020 and 2021 this is not like this year this is a, a planet of expansion speediness turbulence everything is happening real fast so be able to ride the frequency stay on your frequency keep your um the law of attraction keep your frequency up high keep your positive attitude do not let people um feed off your energy Okay, let me also, because I also have some more notes. Now, we have we we have a higher caliber people. There are there are people who want to know the extra higher knowledge, and when we have people that want to learn hex, extra higher knowledge, get to learning higher knowledge, because it will serve you well. And in the winter, this is where a lot of people have spiritual attacks because uh, the winter solstice and is darker more during this time but even though it's darker during this time when you go into sleep you're going to go into a deeper 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 sleep than um into the realm of consciousness into a higher realm of consciousness when you go to sleep so this is when a lot of your inner work is working when you are asleep okay during this time of year so it's a good thing to nourish your body get plenty of sleep get plenty of rest and um, keep your vibrations up. And for goodness sakes, everybody, soar with the eagles. Soar with the eagles. Soar with people who want to, not who wants, because that's a, that's, a, that's a word that you don't want to lack. Soar with people who have or who know extra knowledge. Or people that, you know, be around people with extra knowledge, who have that higher knowledge. You want to be in that vibe of um of 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 higher caliber people. Now, if there are people, there are people still out there that's chickens. If people want to be like chickens, walk like chickens. Let the chickens walk with chickens. Let chickens walk with chickens. For goodness sake, let them continue to walk with chickens. You want to soar with the eagles. Soar with eagles. Constantly keep your vibrations up. And um, we're in the 26,000-year 26, 26, position of the equinox. The 6,000-year moon cycle where we are shifting gears so rapidly, so fast at this time. So I, want, I need you all to really understand me when I say this. That's why we're having this turbulence right now during this time. That's why, quote-unquote, they want to... um. You know, like I said, I don't want to get my, ch my channel shut down. But you all understand. That's why they want to, you know, I don't even know how to say the word. Even though I've been in the medical field for such a while, a long time. But anyway, y'all keep your immune system up. Stay awake. Stay aware. And um, so Saturn squares. Okay, we already have that. Saturn T squares. Uh, Capricorn. So this is uh, also a planet where we have government government breakdowns too at this time. Go government breakdowns is happening during this time. We are having government breakdowns. Okay. 
with Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. It was really good, y'all. It was green tea in it, electrolytes, B12. It was very, very, very. Um, so make sure you all nourish your bodies. Oh, also get y'all some collodial silver, too. Get some zinc. Your body needs zinc. So I don't know. Some people, hopefully, shouldn't nobody be allergic to zinc because your body needs zinc. So take zinc. Take collodial silver. Keep your immune system up. And um, I think that's about all I have for my notes. And we are shifting gears right now at this time. So be a creator, y'all. Be a creator, not a pawn in the universe at this time, okay? And I know you all are not pawns in the universe, Aries. So, all right, let's get started. We're going to do the five-card spread. So I'm going to still do, probably tomorrow, um, the Celtic Cross. But right now, I'm just doing everybody's emotions. This is basic emotions. This is not basic emotions, but, you know, we're doing people's emotions. So we're seeing what's going on with the emotions. I'm not doing a whole tarot card. This is uh, emotions. So let's see what's going on with the Aries. Then after I see what's going on with the Aries, I'm going to read the answers to cards of the universe cards and see what that has to say for you. Okay. So this is not the Celtic the Cross. This is not the 10 card spread. This is just, see, you don't even hear that many cards. These are just emotion cards. So I'm going to see what's going on with the emotions. All right, Aries. Just five cards spread. One, two, three. Oh, wow. <laughs> Four, five. Oh, wow. Aries, you are really hot. You are really hot, Aries. Oh, my goodness. Okay, Aries. And you say, what will I see that y'all see? <laughs> okay. So we have, um, number one, how's your emotion in this moment? Where in this moment, in this moment, you are headed for a romantic love. You are headed for, in this moment, your emotions are saying that you are headed for a romantic love at this time. That's where your emotions are, Aries. Okay, now Aries, this is some cards here, Aries, okay. Mm -hmm. oh, number two, let me see. What keeps, okay, what keeps putting you onto the dam that is preventing you, your emotions from flowing? Well, what's preventing you from your emotions from flowing is, uh, a new relationship. So look, Aries. Aries, y'all got it going on. I mean, for y'all emotions, I could do. I'm going to do the rest of the cards. But you have right here a new relationship. Uh, 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 you have a new relationship. This here is a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. But also, how is that? You're headed for a new relationship. And also, um. Yeah, I, I didn't say that right, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a, um, yeah. But this Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo, don't, Aries, don't be greedy with them because they, um, they wouldn't like it if you be too greedy with them. But this is what's going on with number one. Number two is, this is also another relationship. Okay, this is, um, the beginning of a new, another new relationship, Aries. Wow, Aries. So that's uh what's happening. Okay. Let's see. Um number three. What negative attitudes can you release to become fluid? Well, what you can release, Aries, is a uh, um it said what you can release. Okay, what negative a attitudes you can release to become fluid? What you can release during this time, Aries, is that you are a gifted counselor. You are a gifted counselor, and you are a help to a lot of people, um, Aries. Yeah, 
I'm just gonna make sure. Yeah, you are a gifted counselor. You are a help to a lot of people, Aries. You have a calling to do. You have something that you're supposed to be doing. I'm not sure what it is. Only you know what it is that you're supposed to be doing, Aries. So I'm not sure what it is, but you have a calling on your life that you should be doing something else. I don't know what this possibility is. Only you know what it is, Aries. But you are a gifted counselor, and you can help a lot of people at this time. So you have something that you need to be doing. And I'm not sure what that is. Only you know what that is, Aries. So I don't know what it is, but you know what it is, okay? Okay, number three. Let me see what number three is. Oh, we just did number three. Number four, um, what positive habits, both mentally and physically, you need to adopt, adapt? Okay, so what you need to do to adapt mentally, <laughs> what you need to do, Aries, uh, positive habits, both mentally and physically, you need to adapt. What you need to do mentally and physically, okay, is... Uh, this is a, a, a not saying a three-way relationship. I'm not saying that, uh, <laughs> Aries. But um, inside your relationship, what other relationship this is, Aries, I have no idea who this is, but this other relationship, Aries, whoever this person is, Aries, y'all cups running over, Aries. Where all these people y'all have in y'all lives, y'all loves, y'all love, y'all emotions, y'all just, Okay, Aries, so um, this is like whoever you involved with, through that person, you um, through this person, this other relationship, whoever other 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 person this is, Aries, through this person of this relationship you in, this third relationship you in, a fourth relationship you in, this, I didn't did so many relationships with you all, Aries. I don't know what in lost count, but <laughs> in this relationship, who you are with, um. You need to do some networking. And when you do some networking with this person, it's going to help boost your career of uh, whatever new, whatever new, what you supposed to be doing in life, whatever you supposed to be doing in life, whoever this new networking you're doing it with, this is going to help you, this other relationship. It could be just another, um, no, this is still a, this is a marriage. So, um, look, Aries, y'all got so many relationships here. Y'all got a new relationship, another relationship, a brand new relationship, another relationship. Somebody want to marry y'all. Oh my goodness, we're married. Aries, y'all got relationships. I don't know what people know about all y'all private life. Anyway, I don't, I don't have nothing to do with it, Aries. Look, um, but you ain't heard from me. I don't got nothing to do with none of it. <laughs> but Aries. This one here is um through this marriage, you're um this person and their family or their cousin or somebody and somebody in their family or whoever they net you network with, they're gonna help boost your career and wherever extra level you need to go to further your level of your own business that you want to progress in, Aries, okay? So that's 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 that that's what you can do mentally. Okay. What could you what positive and both mentally, physical, uh you need to adapt. What you need to do is network with this other. Okay. Number five, your emotion. The outcome of your emotional river. Okay, uh, Aries, cry me a river, right? Cry me a river. <laughs> Outcome of your emotional river. <laughs> so, Aries, the outcome of your emotional river is <laughs> an old love comes back into your life <laughs> and your emotions is overwhelmed. And they gonna try to give you a gift. Um, 
they they a, a sincerity of an old love. So they're very sincere. This old love, they're very sincere. Really, in honesty, they're very sincere. Though uh, Aries, they're very sincere. So they know you for a long time, and this is an old love, a past love of yours. So your emotional cup is full. So that's all I got to say for you, Aries. You got relationships all on the table everywhere, Aries. Your emotions, you got wedding rings, you got marriages, you got a marriage, you got a new relationship, another relationship, you got a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, you got a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, you got a marriage, you got an old love coming back. Your emotional cups is all, all filled, Aries. So let's see what the ancestors have to say for you, Aries, because uh, y'all are truly, truly loved everywhere. I know y'all are the fire sign, but good God, y'all are. Whew. Okay, so let's see what the ancestors have to say for you, Aries. Oh my goodness. I just tried to do your emotions, but the emotions was really just coming out of our relationships. Your emotionals was a bunch of bunch of relationships. So look, I can't do nothing how that came out. That came out with a bunch of relationships, Aries. Okay. So, be safe out there. <laughs> be safe, Aries. Be safe. Keep safe. Keep your frequency up. Okay. Um, what do the ancestors have to say to you all, Aries? What do the ancestors have to say? Let's see. All right. <laughs> Trust in the unknown. So whatever higher forces you know of, whatever higher self you know about, trust in the unknown. What else? Stay rooted and stay grounded. Stay rooted and stay grounded. So that's that that's that street fighter. That's that strike the street that fight for the truth and equality and justice. Um this sounds beautiful. Uh, surround yourself with protective energy. Aries, surround yourself with protective energy. So keep yourself surrounded with protective energy. Do not stay around negative people at all, Aries. Set your sights higher. Ancestor says set your sights higher. So whatever it is, set yourself on something else higher. Because uh, this is a great year, 2022. So the, the turbulence is so high, we also have this Uranus energy. So set your heights higher. Okay, Aries. One more card. Let's see what we have. Bask in the joy of light, Aries. Bask in the joy of light. Okay. Can you see it? Bask in the joy of light. Muhammad Ali. Sting like a bee. <laughs> I forgot how Muhammad Ali would say. I forgot how he said, sting like a bee, beautiful. I forgot. Anyway, but that's what I want to say to you all. All right, so. Malika Salam. Malika Salam. All right, till next time. Au revoir, Rivi Dirty. Buenas noches. Au revoir.